What is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit your videos in Vegas Pro 15 So if you guys do find this video helpful make sure to drop a like and with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so I know when you first open up Vegas Pro, it looks a little confusing, but it's actually a pretty simple video editor to use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import some media into Vegas Pro. So in order to do that, you go to File, Import, Media, and select the file that you want. So I'm going to select uh, this video right here. So double click, and it'll start importing this video to Vegas Pro. So this section right here is where all your media is going to go. And then this section right here, this is your timeline. So this is where you're going to edit your video. And this is uh, where you're going to preview your video. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my video into my timeline. And it's going to ask me if I want to set the project video settings to match uh, my media. So I'm going to just go ahead and click yes. Since this video is in 60 FPS and the project is in 30 FPS. So when I click yes, it's going to change it to 60 FPS. So usually the first thing I do whenever I uh, add a video to my timeline is I right click. I go to properties and then select disable resample and click OK. So that's going to make your video quality a little bit better. Always remember to disable resample whenever you add a video to your timeline. So once that's done, another thing you could do is uh, let's say you want to split your video from your audio. Uh, all you need to do is right click, group, and then remove from, and it'll remove your audio from your video. Uh, another thing you could do is you could add some fade in to your audio and fade out. And you could also add a fade in to your video and a fade out. Let's say you want to remove a section from your audio. So let's say you don't want this part right here. Right click and then split. Or you could just go ahead and click S on your keyboard and it'll do the same thing and then delete and it'll delete that section. Let's say you want to add another video track to add like another video or to add a lower third, right click, insert video track, and it'll add another video track and then you could add a lower third. So I'm gonna go to file, import, media, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a lower third. So here's my lower third, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my timeline. And once I hit play, as you guys can see, this is an animated lower third, so it's going to uh, cover up my video since it's right on top of it. So in order to take off the green screen, click on effects. Go down to uh, Vegas Chroma here. And click OK. And now go ahead and click on the color right here. And select this tool. And click on the green screen. And it'll remove it. And you could go ahead and exit out. As you guys can see, there's no green screen. And your preview might look a little laggy, but uh, that's okay because once you render your video, it's gonna look a lot better. Uh, let's say you wanna add some background music to your video. Right click, insert audio track, and it's gonna add another audio track. And then you could just go ahead and add some background music. So file, import, media. And then I'm gonna go to my music. And select this song right here and place it under my commentary and usually for like background music like this i lower it down to negative 29 or depending on how loud the music is so if, it's, if it still sounds a little bit loud i'll bring it down to like negative 45 and you could just extend this if you want now let's say you haven't finished editing your video and you want to continue later on what you could do is uh, go ahead and save it so in order to do that you go to file save as and you name it whatever you guys want and just go ahead and click save and it'll save and once you're ready to uh, continue editing your video you just go to file open and then open up your uh, project now let's say you are done editing your video in order to start rendering your video drag the loop region so this is called the loop region right here this little yellow section let's say if i stop the loop region up to here so you guys see the start and then this is the end so if i hit render it's only going to render this section right here. So you got to make sure that the loop region is covering your whole project. A faster way to uh, select your whole project is you could just double click up here. And it'll select your whole project. So in order to render, you just go to this icon right here. 
And as you guys can see, I already have custom templates. Uh, if you guys want to create your own custom templates, you could just go to Sony, AVC, MVC, and then select the one that says uh, 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. And then go ahead and click customize template. And if you guys are recording in 60 FPS, you could just move this to 60 FPS and click OK. And then select it as a favorite. And then you go to filters, show favorites only, and it'll only show your custom template. And since this video is in 60 FPS, I would select the 60 FPS one. And I would go ahead and click render. And it'll start rendering. Now guys, that's pretty much it. This is how you edit your videos in Vegas Pro 15. So hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.